Hello, Aaron here from Rebuy, going through a quick walkthrough on the smart cart best practices. If you're interested in how you can set this up in more detail, check out our technical walkthrough video link down below. For today's video, what we're going to go through is a, a few instances of some of our favorite smart carts over here. We'll break those down, um, dissect different smart carts in different verticals, and just talk through what they're doing, how this impacts the customer experience, how this impacts their e-com KPIs, and then we'll go through a quick smart cart demo. If you want to take a look at some other instances of the smart cart, feel free to check out rebuyengine.com slash inspiration. And here you'll see lots of different use cases for the rebuy suite and how other brands are using this to personalize their customer experience and optimize their stores for revenue. You can filter for smart cart or any of the other features here as well. And we're consistently adding to this page. So the first smart cart we'll be taking a look at is Aviator Nation. And you'll see here in Aviator Nation smart cart, they've got this tiered progress bar, which is showing the customer how far they are away from receiving free shipping. So a great way to drive conversions for the store and also increase that average order value. Here you'll see the cart contents. And then below that, we'll see the cart cross sells. So here you're seeing products that are recommended based off of the actual contents in the cart. And you'll see as the cart is updating, those recommendations are changing as well too, as we're starting to understand what products are in the cart and you know what's actually gonna go well with the products that they have. You'll also notice over here that we've got a checkout button. So we are bypassing the cart page, um, which is typical in many e-commerce stores and reducing the friction for the customer to check out. Taking a look at another example of a smart cart here, here we've got Chamberlain Coffee, and here you'll see a few things. So they've got this shipping bar here. They've also got this as a tiered progress bar, which is showing customers how far they are from free shipping, but also you know, how close they are to receiving a free gift. So you'll see here, once we unlock that, another gift is added to the cart. Uh, inside of the cart content, so this brand sells subscriptions, You'll notice that they have this subscribe and save and get free shipping here as well too. So this is a switch to subscription. And here you'll see, you know, the customer is able to save when they are subscribing to specific products as well too. And then similarly, you know, cart cross sells over here, uh, ensuring that the product recommendations are relevant. And you'll see here, they've got the option to manage their orders via SMS. They've also got this option for EcoCart, which is a carbon neutralizer to further emphasize their brand's positioning as an eco-friendly brand. Um, here you'll see some additional messaging to let them know, you know, other wallets are available at checkout and letting them know where they can apply discounts. And again, you'll see we've got this direct checkout to bypass uh, the cart step here too. So both of these ones, can be added to rebuy using a smart card app and we'll go through that in a little bit but again super high profile brand just seeing how they're using our specific card the next one that i want to go through is taste salute so this is in the food and bev space as well um, a few things that i want to call out over here again you'll see this tiered progress bar just incentivizing the customer to buy more and you'll see they take it a step further by making it even easier for customers to increase their quantity, not just through the quantity selector, but by offering tiered discounts through a buy more, save more function. So you'll see over here, we can say buy three, save $10. That's automatically gonna push me up above the threshold, making it super easy for customers to convert and add multiple products to their cart. And then again, of course, you'll see the cart cross sells over here too. Moving on into the beauty space, um, here you'll see Primarily Pure. They've got a few options to add a note if adding notes or gift notes is something that your brand does, especially during you know holiday season, Black Friday. This can be a really powerful and easy tool to create a great customer experience. And then you'll also see here again cart cross sells. You know very easy to add products to the cart that are already in there and then here they're also leveraging the announcement bar to 
share any promotions that are happening and also let customers know that they can order more rewards every time that they shop. You'll also notice a discount code function in here, which is a component of the smart card that you can easily turn on. This is where the customer could enter a discount code. They could see their savings directly inside of the smart card. We find this being particularly powerful when you have rewards programs that give the customer a discount code. Um, so you'll see here, they are calling out specifically their pure points program. Or if you are running a specific promotion, maybe you are merchandising that discount code here in the announcement bar. Otherwise, if you don't have a discount code easily available, it may cause customers to you know, pause, maybe open up another tab, try and find a discount code here. So yeah, overall recommended that you have this one on if that discount code is easily available to the customers. Moving on, we'll take a look at loop earplugs. So you'll see over here, they use their announcement bar to merchandise free shipping over a specific threshold. They've customized their progress bar a little bit as well too to show customers when they've unlocked free shipping. And then again, multiple cart cross sells here. So really strong description around the particular products that they're offering in the cart cross sells. And then, you know, other related products here inside of the cart too. They have also added this 100 day hassle free returns, which obviously this is helping to increase conversions and just reduce that friction and the decision-making process for the customer. Here you'll see Magic Spoon. Inside of Magic Spoon's cart, they've got two gift tiers here in the tiered progress bar. So Rebuy supports up to four. They've also got their switch to subscription here too. So if I just go back, you know, you'll see very easy for a one-time customer to convert into a subscriber. And then here you'll notice that they have this beam impact app inside of their smart cart. And what this is doing is this is signaling to the customer their corporate social responsibility. You know, you can select a nonprofit. We're seeing this to be really, really trendy across a lot of the brands that we're working with. I know there have been a lot of studies around, you know, Gen Z's, other millennial shoppers really wanting the brands that they're supporting to have a specific purpose beyond profit. So Great way to reposition that. And then again here, you know, the cart cross sells uh, showing relevant products. So to recap our best practices, you'll want to gamify the experience by adding a progress bar to your cart. You can use this to show the customer how far they are from free shipping or how far they are from receiving a free gift. And what you're doing here is reducing the ambiguity around what it takes for them to convert to get their expected outcome. On top of that, you can use this as a tool to boost and test your average order value on your store. You'll also want to ensure that you include a cart cross sell widget to ensure customers are recommended products that are relevant to their cart configuration, ensuring that pro products that are recommended to your customers are the right products at the right time. If you're selling subscriptions, you'll definitely want to enable that integration and then turn on the switch to subscription toggle inside of the smart cart. You find that to be a great way to increase your subscriber acquisition, and then boost your lifetime value of that customer. If your store offers quantity discounts or you have the margins to support quantity discounts and it's something that some customers may buy in bulk, definitely wanna take a look at enabling buy more, save more. Um, that's just a great way to reduce the amount of friction that's required for your customer to convert. Therefore, helping to increase conversion rates, also helping to boost average order value, and then of course, lifetime value for that customer. And then leveraging your existing tech stack by enabling and checking out all the smart cart apps. So we'll take a pause for a second and we're just going to go into the demo store where we will go through some of these. Okay, so here I am in my demo store. If you are new to Rebuy, the first thing that you're gonna wanna do when configuring your smart cart is managing your Rebuy theme. So here is where you can upload your logo, change all of the colors and, and button colors and text colors for your specific smart cart. We've also got this custom CSS area here as well too. If you did want to add some additional, maybe more advanced styling options to your cart. Very flexible here, but that's kind of the first step. And then next, you're going to want to head over to the smart cart tab. If you haven't created a cart already, you can create new cart. For this demonstration, I'm going to go into this cart that I've created and I've got a preview of this over here. So you can click this button and you can preview this cart on your actual online store. I'm gonna go ahead and hide this bar. And again, recalling some of the best practices that we looked at, 
here are a few things that we saw. We're going to say add an announcement here. If we have the tiered progress bar, we're going to want to enable that as well too. If you want to set it for specific countries, you can do that. I won't do that for demonstration purposes, but let's say I want to do free shipping at $50 and then, you know, a free gift at $100. That way we are just boosting the average order value and really making it super clear to the customer as far as what it is that they need to do. Our tiered progress bar supports up to free gift uh, for, sorry, our, oh my gosh. Our tiered progress bar supports up to four tiers. So you can add multiple tiers here. I'll just add a unlock price over here too. So if you wanted to add some more products here and you know see how that is impacting your average order value, you can definitely do that. One thing to note with the tiered progress bar is you will need to configure the discounting logic inside of Shopify in order for these to actually discount. So this is currently a merchandising tool. All the discounts are going to be configured inside of Shopify. Here we've got buy more, save more. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that on as well too. And we can say, all right, is this going to be a button? We'll say buy X, save Y. And then here we can select the products for the buy more, save more. So let's say I want to use the T again here for this. This is the merchandising specifically. Any of the discounting will need to be set up in Shopify. Um, but as you can see here, we can add some more tiers, you know, buy two, save 5%, buy three, save 10%. And then switch to subscription. You can turn that on. You want to connect your subscription provider through the integrations tab over here. And then Finally, what we'll see over here from a best practice perspective is a cart cross sell widget. If you haven't already created one, you can easily create a cart flyout widget over here. We'll say smart cart best practices, name this one accordingly. And then we can quickly edit this widget if we want to in terms of the layout or quickly toggle this one on here. So I'm going to go ahead and save. In addition, you'll see some other settings here. So if you wanted to change this your cart language here, you could do that. Change this text for an empty cart. We could do that as well too. Again, here, if we wanted to add the discount code option, we could go ahead and save that as well too. And then here's where we can enable, you know, a checkout button, view cart button, continue shopping button. Again, best practices that we'll typically see is the checkout button and then bypassing the view cart specifically. And then one last thing that I'll call out. So lots of other settings over here is the smart cart app so we integrate with many of the existing apps that are already in your tech stack let's say as an example you know i wanted to turn on the attentive integration you just fill this out and you can turn that on as well too so let's just turn on this recharge sms as an example but yeah constantly adding apps over here so be sure to check this frequently to see what other new things that we've added so I'm going to go ahead and save, and I will refresh this instance of the smart card over here. Now that we've refreshed here, you can take a look, and you'll see, boom, we've got a lot of the best practices here. We've got an announcement bar. We've got our multiple tiers to help move the customer along, increase our average order value. We've got the cart cross-sells to help with the customer experience, ensuring that products are relevant based off of what we have in the cart. You see over here, we can choose the free gift once we've unlocked that as well too. And then again, discount code input where we can apply the discount. We can see the discount that's being merchandised. And then we can see this directly inside of the cart. So very, very cool. We've got the direct to checkout over here as well. So there you have it. If you have any feedback, feel free to reach out to us at support at rebuyengine.com. Uh, any questions for our support team, you can also reach out via the chat bubble in the admin. And of course, any feedback on this, feel free to reach out at success at rebuyengine.com.